Hello everybody, this is Spirali and welcome to RL. We keep an eye on our citizens. So as you can see, I have played this game twice before. But I have an empty third profile. So I thought we would play this together. Um, or well, if you know him, I guess most famous the 1984 uh, dystopian future in which everybody surveyed constantly um, up to the point where they have like a thought police and in this game basically um, we are in a setting in a modern day setting and they implement a new system to spy on the citizens and we are gonna work for them so let's create our profile congratulations you have been selected for the Orwell test phase please create a profile um, yeah, so there's some pre-selected I don't know. Sure. My name's Spirelli. Um, you are one of. Here's a dot. Here's a dot. Two billion accepted applicants. You may now enter your email address. Uh, be diligent, your work has severe impact. Please agree to the following terms. I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. I agree to the terms stated above. Let's go. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. Okay, this is the Freedom Plaza, and it's 2017. I believe when I first played it, this happened in the future, but now it is actually the past. And we can just search people walking by um, and see whether they have any record, see whether it's safe in a way. And that is done by facial recognition. So this is not what the game is going to look like, this is just some recordings of the intro scene, basically. The game is going to be me going through information. Police record found! She stepped into a bus. Oh, they're making out. I'm glad we zoomed into that. Because I like, wouldn't want to have people show that. Okay. So. Bomb exploded. And we had one person there. That actually. Um, has a record. Sims. You're online. Good. Call me Symes. I'll be advising on Orwell. Together we'll form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances. Selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. So, let's read National Beholder headlines. It is loading. 2017 loading speed. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I have activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. Okay. So, the leading newspaper of the nation. Fast, precise, honest. It's a good day to fall in love. Oh, we even have some ads on here. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Bonton. 
Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bondon. Three people killed, five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. Let's read more. At approximately 7.50 p.m. on Wednesday evening, an explosion device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to official police reports, three people were killed and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closes, closed off the area immediately. Experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosion device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirm that, several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedanken sind frei, The Thoughts are Free, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on highly, high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. So that it is what we just seen, seen in an interest scene. Rose and technology shaping visions bit by bit. Oh my god. Ah. Puns. Puns. Negotiations in Trifleth failed. Page Pargesian? Pargesian? President abort's negotiations with opposition. Valent riots in Trifleth. Blaine encouraged renewal. Peace negotiations in a riot ridden Pargasian capital city, Triflith, have been aborted without any result last night. Independent sources report that President Kassard abruptly cut off communication with opposition representa uh, representatives, as so the later presented a tangible plan for the organizations of re elections. The news about the premature cancellation of the negotiations caused thousands of people to resume demonstrations in the capital. It's been reported that demonstrators wearing hoods threw incendiary material into shut windows and onto cars. The police struggled to keep the situation under control. Prime Minister Blaine said this worries about the negative developments regarding the political situation of the neighboring country and has requested both sides to resume diplomatic discussions. And one more headline, this is the last I think and then we will continue snooping but First, I gotta read about movie shooting come later. It's a hundred grey shadows. I wonder what that's supposed to be. <laughs> but it's it's supposed to come out on Valentine's Day, so I don't know whether grey movies. Anyway, shooting of grey shadows saga lasting four years finalized. Third party of the saga to hit movie theaters next Valentine's Day. Hillbury. After a lengthy shot shoot in the hills of Bhutan, self-proclaimed visionary director Sumishi Aran announced that filming of his eagerly awaited romantic drama, A Hundred Grey Shadows, has finally come to an end. Announced via his timelines profile yesterday, the press director said he was eager to begin post-production and the final editioning, editing stages before the conclusion to the Grey Shadow series would hit the cinemas on Valentine's Day next year. The third and final chapter in the Grey Shadow saga, previously released being A Grey Shadow and Another Grey Shadow, wow, was announced to be released almost four years ago, but was postponed numerous times due to production problems. Fans have speculated that this was largely due to the breakdown of Hollywood power couple Betty Evan and Mike McDeal, who have long lasting quarrels during the filming as a result. One production hand was reported to say that these were getting out of control and that completion of any scene feature both actors was nothing short of pulling teeth. When we reached out to Ruber Productions to get a comment, they declined the rumors and claimed to be more speculation. Cool. So let's go back. This is currently the only website we can look at, so let's get to this. We have an unknown person. The profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you know, open is for our main suspect. The blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage showed before the assault is no stranger to the place. Take a look at the arrest record. So Orville ID 647-24-612. Date of birth, address, occupation, relationship, unknown, physique. And I can't click on anything else. Um, but he wants me to go back. So this is all the uh, National Beholder sites that I visited, but now I have the Bonton Police Database. Watergate Cassandra. <laughs> I 
I should wait for him to explain to me how to do it, sorry. The highlight elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their rel relevance to the case and any connections or information it may confront. Track and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our service. So, here we have a picture. I don't actually need to track it onto the picture, I need to track it over here and they will um, correctly put it in. So, unknown person is now Cassandra Watergate. Very good. Picture names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information in documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a targeted person. At the reason for Ms. Watergate's prior arrest, that has just been unlocked. We will need this info to progress. So, um, we cannot put a date of birth in yet. Arresting officer. So, she assaulted a police officer. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect corroborated immediately. Well, I don't find this to be clear. Like, she was a protester. The protesters, so multiple of them, at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved. And she was detained for it. So I hope everyone says uh, this is a new portrait, but we already did it. So, like, I'm not sure whether she did it. I mean, she she was crying, so maybe. Um, and related document found. Good. With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked a police officer and you'll see what I mean. Okay. So we have this here. This is her background. Uh, this is all we can get from this site. Oh, it was the arrest date. I was like, why can't we get her birthday? Because it's not her birthday. Okay. Uh, so we find a new uh, beholder article. Is this woman a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago. Remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August. Cassandra W. Simple protester. Anti-governmental terrorist. The case that keeps the media and the public guessing. Cassandra W. Picture above. Who had allegedly injured a police officer several uh, police officer severely two weeks ago. Still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of the demonstration against the newest amendments to the government's model project, the safety bill. So it happened at the very same place where the bomb blew off, which is now highlighted for us so we can put it over here. Previously arrested for assault on a police officer at Freedom Plaza. The exact same location as the assaults. Then she turns up there right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we are really dealing with. I wonder what you would get for that. Um, because if you if like you throw a she she threw a rock from a reaction, I gather she didn't mean to I mean I don't know what she expected from throwing a rock, but she didn't seem to mean to severely hurt anybody. Protests of Freedom Plaza. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused Cassandra W, who is an artist by profession. Let me just read this. Um, she has denied the accusations completely and has asked her fans to show their support. A trial has now been scheduled for mid-August. The case received nationwide attention. Catherine Delacroix, Secretary of the Sec of Security, labelled the alleged perpetrator alongside the other writers as anti-governmental theorists. Ter terrorists. That's nice, you know, labelling protesters terrorists. Let's see, but I signed that I'm not going to be judgmental on this. I'm going to do my best to... Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance. Come on, innocent until proven guilty. 
Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the information I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Oral Ethical Codex dictates that investigators, like yourself, are the only per ones allowed to access the documents of the target person. Advisors, like me, only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Yeah, so we, um, so far we've always, when anything was highlighted, we've pulled it over because it seemed important to us, but basically just told us this is not true. We will also stumble over unimportant or even misleading information. This is her portfolio, harboring outstanding art. Yeah, let's upload a new picture. That's nice, isn't it? Welcome to the port of Cassandra Watergate. Hi, I'm Cassie, colorful inhabitant of Wonderland, right behind the rainbow. Glad you found me. So, this is not where she actually is, so we're gonna disable this. Finally found the courage to quit my dull day job, focus on my art career, and put my stuff on portfolio. Below you will find a hand-picked selection of my latest works. You can browse through them by clicking on the arrows on the left and right side of the picture below. See something you like? Why, of course you do, because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Well, there's some confidence there. Leave a message on my Utel account, the Cassie92, and tell me which piece you'd like. I'm gonna make a fine art print and ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing, free of charge. Now off you go and have fun. What is free of charge? The shipping or like... The whole thing because you need to make money somehow professional painting pop art various okay she quit her job i think we can put that up quit previous job to focus on our career hmm, interesting we shan't find out what that job was and she has a u child so i don't know what that is exactly but we have her account and it always seems important good you found a chat handle that will allow us to overhear any conversations on that account the listener has now been unlocked New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Oh, okay, wonderful. But first, let's look here. My beloved furball Ki Kikiko. Definitely the only family I need. Yep, that beauty is me. I was never sure about the title though. The business man's forgotten daughter or victim of traditionalism in pink. What do you think? So I'm not sure whether she's actually the businessman of a, the daughter of a businessman. I remember the main story plots. I knew that you know there was a bomb going off in that scene, um, but I don't remember the details. It has been quite some time, so I cannot for certain tell you that this that she actually is. But I'm just gonna skip this for now. Christmas present for my darling. This was actually meant to be a private piece, but oh well, I'd have a hard time keeping it to myself. It's kind of weird, but she's in a relationship. That seems important. Okay, so let's leave the other one back. We go back, and now you can see here we have one disabled piece of information and one not disabled piece that we've also not submitted yet. So it's quite nice to have an overview of what you've read, what you haven't read, what you might want to go back to um, if you want to decide what to do. So let's go into the listener. Oh, okay. So I guess I have to upload this to continue. Yes, so now I got a listener. So this is what... Um, was previously mentioned sometimes you have to submit something sometimes you can't admit it because it's the crucial point that continues the story and the game just doesn't let you not do that so i guess right about now i'd be without a job if this was not a video game okay there was a chat with an unknown person hey you hey jossie I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Oh, you got me, Sherlock. 
Come on, type faster, people, type faster. I'm in the middle of buying uh, all of Bonton with a platinum card lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. So this is her boyfriend, I assume. Wine? What is Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney, and all round bad as have in his mind? In mind this time. Props just a business call from one of his favorite clients. I'm just gonna put this over because it's, it's the name of her boyfriend. You now have a profile for a related person. It can be accessed via the profile. Their junks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into the relevant profiles. Okay. So I couldn't put anything about her into this. Uh, so he's Oh, it says uh, Cassandra Watergate is the client. So, but this more seems like they're in a relationship. Let's get back to her lawyer. That's not what I wanted to. I mean, you wouldn't call somebody like, who you're my fearless lawyer if, if you were like, my fearless attorney. What's that? An all around badass, and they'd be like, yep, that's uh, that's her lawyer. That's that's the, all the relationship that they have. Um, wait, they continue talking. Actually, yes. So, this is exactly what's going to happen. Very serious business, Cassandra. I thought as much. Because I better pick up a shitload of wine. You'll have to get this client of yours pretty puzzled to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine. She's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from the big pharma and my parents then. Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? Um, yeah, maybe, uh, gotta go, text you later, xoxo. <laughs> well, that's, that's a conversation stopper right there. And we found another document because she has a big farmer, like a parent's eye big farmer. Watergate, farmer entrepreneurs, that does ring a bell. So... Stole a credit card, from, but it's not true because they're in a relationship and she's like joking about it. So I'm gonna stop that, and that's all we have here. So let's go back. There is two new things Watergate Farmer. So yeah, that's her, and procedure closing raises manipulation suspicion. Let's go into that. Tramp from the suspect's lawyer, criminal attorney Joseph Langley. Wait, we have a picture of him here, right? All that informs me just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, this will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. I wanted to put the picture in into his profile, but I can't for some reason. So I guess I'm just gonna go back to her. Investigation into the malicious injury of a police officer has been chopped due to lack of evidence. Speculated that the accused parents manipulated the trial. Yeah, well, her parents seem to be rich. The case that has been at the center of media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. was acquitted of the alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. However, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. Suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, picture above, welcomed this outcome. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence that my client was guilty. At no point at all. The reverse defense attorney commented during a post-trial press gallery. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the results of the lawsuit. They openly voiced a concern that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in their favour. The victim, a father of two young sons, was rushed into hospital after injury incident in mid-July, where he's still in an induced coma, unresponsive to treatment. Oh god. That is terrible. Okay, so he ta basically told me, like, investigate thoroughly. So I think we should first look into her parents before we decide whether they meddled. Because it's easy to assume, especially if the outcome is not what you want, that the other side, you know, had some kind of benefit. 
Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Watergate Pharmaceuticals enriches lives, well, probably enriches your own pockets, uh, with our industry leading range of products, making an important contribution to your well being. But now you'll find a small selection of our most popular products. Oh god, Ahexotil, or Forte, cough drops that fight against irritation of the throat based on natural herbs. Compensum, activating pills against migraines and strong headaches. Focosion, medication that increases concentration and cerebral performance. Furoral active medication for the elevation of arthritic joint pain. Metharin, antidepressant to help stabilize your emotions. Spiron, all around painkiller dissolves in water. Zemiron, night. Soothing pain pills for a good night's rest against occasional sleeping problems and for acute application when suffering from insomnia. So they have whatever a normal farmer has. There's a lot of reading in this game, like, a lot. Company! The name Watergate has been inseparable from progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine and at the same time is the largest medication exporter to all areas of the world. The business Watergate Pharmaceuticals has been in hands of Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. Bruno Watergate, Chief Execution Officer. CEO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals, Corporation is Bruno Watergate, grandson of our founders Edgar Watergate. Apart from working in the family business, Mr. Watergate is also the founder of the Central Pharmacy Conquest and head of the charity foundation Children of Poachers. Dr. Alice Watergate, head of research and development. A co partner of the firm with her husband Bruno holds a PhD in bi biology and chemistry. She leads the research and development laboratories where here at Watergate Pharmaceuticals. And Cassandra Watergate, Junior COO. I wonder whether you should put that in because she's not anymore, so right? She said she's she This looks so different. Uh she said she quit. Is that actually the same person? Come on, you don't need to say what I just said. Like work with me. Carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Alice and Bruno's daughter Cassandra will soon be joining the executive ranks. Her business acumen and unique flair will write the next chapter of our 85 year strong legacy. Ah, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. Oh my god, my voice. Sorry, I had to drink something. I'm not used to reading so much. Documents that you've already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to look at, take a look and see if there's any new information available. So we have quit previous job. So I don't know whether I should put this in. Let's just see what happens. Junior COO. I guess that way everything stays in the family. Yeah, so this is what he's saying. Being an artist and a junior CEO seems quite odd. She also mentioned you had quit a dull job, didn't she? Yeah, so I shouldn't have put this in because this is actually not true anymore. I just that he uh, mentioned earlier that like, ooh, we should find out what she did before and I was wondering whether this could. So basically this just shows you that I have no way of giving her context. I have no way of being like, oh look, I found out what she was previously. I've only, this is her job. Um, and whatever, so if I highlight it. Junior CEO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals, so this will be what will be put over there. So, this is not actually a job, and that's basically, I messed up a little bit. Um, with that, I am going to leave this first episode here. Um, this is basically the game. So, uh, we have the reader, we have the listener, I think there's also going to be audio locks. I'm not sure, it just seems like chat and audio. And then there is the insider, which is another feature but overall i have this i have um i i see there's new information like this information you haven't used yet um uh, this information you haven't disabled there is new pages that i haven't looked at and 
going through all of that information, it's my job to figure out what was her doing? Was she involved in this? What about the people around her? What do they know? So we have Alice Watergate and Bruno Watergate actually. Alice Watergate. Yeah, so apparently they're not interested in pictures of them. That's cool. Um, yes, so I'm gonna leave it at this. I remember really enjoying this game. I uh, enjoy dystopian settings overall and kind of like finding out what's happening. And apparently I managed to play it or to not play it for a long enough time so that it's all new to me again. Um, and I really messed up with the job because she doesn't have two jobs and all. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me.